Hi everyone, this is Damon down here at Sellers RV, and today we're going to be taking a look at the 2020 Northern Spirit 2253 RB. This is a rear bathroom floor plan, nice open concept in the living area, got lots of room to hang out. Uh, one slide out on this unit as well, and the weight is fairly good, it's uh, about 28 feet long overall, tip to tail. Uh, dry weight's going to be right around 5,500 pounds dry. Um, easily half ton towable. So if you're looking for a trailer to head out on the weekend or maybe you're set up on a seasonal site, you can do that too. It's a nice in-between balance between weight and space. So it's been a pretty popular uh, layout for us so far this year. Uh, and with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into it. If you look up front, you got two 20 pound propane tanks as well as an electric front jack. Just makes it a little bit easier to hook and unhook, save you a little bit of arm work. Come around to the side here, you got your pass through storage. Lots of room for picnic tables, chairs, barbecues, whatever else you need to take with you. Although on the outside, this trailer is equipped with an outside barbecue. It'll have a propane hookup right underneath the trailer there that will tap into your two 20 pound propane tanks up front. So that's a nice feature. If you look down below, you got two aluminum rims, tandem axles. A little bit sturdier when you're going down the highway. And if you look over here, you're gonna have the new solid steps. These things are great. Uh, when you're not using them, they fold up inside out of the door. Um, that way they're out of the way. When you do go to use them, fold down, nice and simple, and then they touch right to the ground. So when you're getting in and out of the trailer, it keeps the whole thing from rocking around and they're nice and sturdy. If you look up top, you got an electric awning up there. It goes pretty much across the whole length of the trailer. So you got lots of coverage. If you're out on a rainy day, you guys can still hang out outside and not be uncomfortable. Um, outside speakers on there as well. Those will have a Bluetooth deck on the inside you can hook your phone up to. Uh, also be hooked up to radio and all that good stuff too. Got some uh, strap points there for dog leash. All my Northern Spirits have those on the outside, so that's a pretty cool feature too. And if you come around to the back side, you got your rear bumper, you can put your sewer hose in there, and then up top, you also have a rear backup camera. That's going to come with a little Bluetooth screen that just suction cups to the front windshield of your vehicle. That way you can see what you're doing when you're backing up, keep you from hitting a stump or something in your brand new trailer. You don't want that. And with that being said, let's go to the inside here. So as soon as you walk in, you got a table right here. This is not mounted to the trailer, so if you want to move him around, you can do that. Um, if you're not using them, you can also put them underneath the bed up front too. Uh, that is nice because the sofa here is actually going to be a hide to bed so he'll fold out and sleep two extra people if you got some other folks staying with you. So that's a nice feature. Uh, directly across from your sofa, you've got your entertainment system, which is nice. That way you don't have to be uh, turning your head all crooked and sideways if the TV set up in the corner or something weird like that. Um, it's also going to be hooked up to your entertainment system here. If you got movies, you can put them in there. It's all hooked up to the TV, so that works as well. Um, something I notice immediately as soon as I walk into this trailer is how much headroom it has. All of my Northern Spirit travel trailers have vaulted ceilings, so it's got a nice little curve and gives you a couple extra inches of headroom in the middle of the trailer. So if you're a taller guy, uh, you'll appreciate that for sure. Over here you've got the kitchen. You've got uh, sink, stove, microwave, a little bit of covered space up top as well as below, and a nice uh, pop out shelf here too if you need a little extra room for making your sandwich you can pop that guy out and use him as well um, nice little feature there come into the bedroom you've got lots of storage up top and on each side of the bed as well as little end tables too so you got a place to put your phone book glass of water a lot of trailers don't have that so that's a good thing to have uh also a little bit more storage down here in the corner which is nice and then this bed is going to lift up as well so right underneath there, you've got a laundry hamper, and then if you want, you can put your uh, removable table down there in the middle too. If you've got this folded out into the bed. Ah, uh, you got your six cubic foot fridge there. This is going to be a rear bathroom floor plan. So a really cool thing about this layout is how big your shower is. This has got a stand-up shower in it instead of a shower and bath combo. Um, this is a bigger shower than you get in almost all the travel trailers and then some of the fifth wheels even too, so really great layout there. Lots of room to use the toilet, you're not going to be bumping your knees against anything. Sink there, and then quite a bit of storage around the sink too, so. Overall, this is a really, really great layout. Uh, the concept of it, the rear bath has been around for a long time. 
and we end up selling quite a few of them in the year so if you like this one i have a similar layout to uh how this one is set up in another brand as well um with a couple extra features and some other stuff going on there too just a little bit higher price point on it so if you like this one or something like it definitely come on down and check it out and thank you very much and have a good day